How's it going, Smushed Spike Gang? The premise of today's video is pretty simple. I'm going to be detailing the process behind how I got the spike on this kendama to go from this mama mia mashed potato spike trash wah to this diamond prison shank of doom spike. So yeah, I'm gonna be cutting to a lot of kind of B-roll of the process because I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see or focus on what the spike looks like in this kind of face cam setup. But uh, before we get to that, I should say a couple things. I have put about an hour or two of play onto this spike after I did all of this and it's holding up incredibly well. And it's, it's basically like you had just super glued the wood from the start. So I'm really happy with it. Now, has anybody done a modification like this before? I don't know, should you do it? I don't know. Is there a better way to reinforce your spike? I don't know. But uh, all I can tell you is that I'm really happy with the way it turned out, so I'll show you what I did. So the concept, I should probably not have that rattling. So the whole concept behind the way I reinforced the spike is first mixing kind of some like wood sawdust with some thicker super glue to build the spike back up. And then once I had the spike built up, I sanded it down to the tip I wanted. And then I used a really liquid super glue to seal it back together. And then that seal was basically the same effect that you would have if you just got a new spike and then sealed it with super glue as many people do. So I wrote down the steps here and I'll also be showing you some of the uh, footage behind what I was doing. The first thing was I needed some sawdust or like wood shavings to use to mix with the glue to actually strengthen and rebuild the tip. So you can see here, I just got like a paint stick, put it over a sticky note and started shredding it up with like a multi-tool saw. Very MacGyver, very non-professional, but you, you can do this with any kind of scrappy stuff you have at home, it'll do just fine. So get yourself some wood shavings going and I made a nice little pile of those. So the next thing I did was I made a little applicator kind of shaping tool out of another sticky note that I just cut some slits in to make it like a brush. And the reason I did that, of course, if you don't know, it's not the best idea to get super glue all over your fingers. I was actually locked out of my phone for a little bit because I sealed off my fingerprint and couldn't unlock it. But uh, that's a story for another day. Basically, yeah, this little sticky note tool is what I used to kind of push the tip and shape it into the shape I wanted without super gluing my fingers, which of course I didn't do a very good job of. And I kind of created layers. So you can see I started putting some glue on that flat spike and then I dipped the glue into the wood chips. And then once that kind of set in place a little bit, it started to dry, I did another layer, glue wood, glue wood. And I think I did about three layers before I had built up this big tip. And after it dried, you can see it's basically just like a hard chunk of wood coming out the end of the spike. The next step was to take some sandpaper, about a medium grit sandpaper. Again, I was just using what I had and whatever you have will work as well, I'm sure. I sanded down the tip of the kendama spike, trying to follow what little tip there was left from the original and referencing some other damas I have to get that spike shape right. So you can see after quite a bit of sanding, it actually started to look uh, pretty good. There are obviously some gaps and stuff that I could have done a bit of a better job filling in with the glue and the wood before, but uh, that's definitely a tip. Before you start sanding, make sure you have enough material there that when you sand some off, you'll have the tip that you want left. Another thing I should mention is make sure you kind of round off the very tip because when I was sanding this and I sanded it straight to a point, it was like razor sharp and it would have probably stabbed a hole in the tama had I just left it like that. So I kind of rounded it off a little bit similar to a way a kendama would come with a spike anyway. It's a little bit rounded off, doesn't have much effect on you know how good the spike is, but saves your paint in the long run for sure. Then it was time for the crazy glue. You know, I mentioned in my glue video, if you didn't see it, the crazy glue is like the ultimate diamond maker, wood sealer, infinite, forever lasting glue to seal off a kendama spike. So now that I had the wood chips kind of infused into that pseudo glue wood spike, I sealed it all over with that crazy glue. And honestly, almost immediately after the glue dried, I was, you know, like feeling that stuff and it's, incredibly similar to just a glued wood spike. You can get a closer look at it here. This is basically the final product. The color is like a little bit off because the glue that I mixed with the wood chips like is a little bit more yellow. So that kind of bugs me, but I think the super spike tip 
is uh, definitely worth that little color difference. And like I said at the beginning, I've been playing this for a couple hours already and it's flawless. I mean, just the same way that it would be had I glued the spike in the first place. And that's basically the whole story. Now I've got my restored Chrome Pop ready for a session and uh, won't be getting any, any Patricks anytime soon. If you know of a better way or an easier way or any way to uh, restore a Kendama spike, let me know in the comments and uh, I'd definitely be willing to try it out on another smushed spike, but uh, this is what I came up with. And I appreciate you checking this out as always. Hopefully that'll help somebody with a smushed spike, maybe bring it back to life. You don't want to be retiring Damas for smushed spikes. If you want the spike, there's always a way to get it. And with that, I will send you on your way. I appreciate you as always, and I'll see you in the next Smushy Gang video.